Hi, this is Tillman from Tonstrom and I'd like to welcome you to an in-depth tutorial about our Wush application. If you open Wush for the first time, this is where you find your presets. Wush comes with 100 presets sorted into 10 categories. For example, trailer effects, just Wushes, incoming and impact effects, Chopper effects Magic spells and The evil hits Short switches and Low enders In the experimental preset category, we show what can be achieved aside from Wush effects. Wush can be synchronized to your host or you can control it via MIDI. In Pro Tools, simply root the channel from your MIDI keyboard to the Reactor instance. You can then MIDI learn all important parameters in the MIDI Setups menu. Start Wush from MIDI key C3 for example. You can also MIDI learn the individual source mixer positions, playback of the impact sampler or MIDI learn a controller for Wush's manual mode. Here we simply record a MIDI note starting Wush. panel you can control the master playback speed of Wush. You can choose to set up the duration in seconds milliseconds, timecode 24, timecode 25 and beat sync. Wush features four source samplers. Each of them can be set to loop or granular playback behavior. Further there is an impact sampler section I'll explain you later. By activating the corresponding solo button you just listen to the source sampler's output. The Source Samplers Factory library features 16 categories, each containing 12 sound effects. And you can choose to play back samples in the loop player mode. in the synchronized granular playback mode. In the easy grain mode you can blend between cloud granular playback behavior or the more loopy playback behavior with one slider. In the granular pro mode you can adjust all available parameters individually. Besides working with the factory sample library, Wush now offers an easy way to import your own sample. Simply export the sounds you wish to use into a folder you may call user samples and you may also divide them into source or impact samples. And now on the source sampler simply select one of the four existing user banks and here you open the import section. Select the samples you'd wish to import and drag them over to the import slots. Each of the four user banks provides 12 slots for user samples. You can now access the samples you imported in the first user bank in all four source samplers. The source samplers share the same four user banks. You can delete individual sample slots or all sample slots with a right click on the sample slot area. The impact samplers share four user banks as well. The workflow is identical to the source sampler user banks. Now when you save your own user preset, 
The sample assignment of the user banks is also safe with each user preset. So with four user banks you can save up to 48 sample assignments with each user preset. Now let's listen to just the source samplers output. Herefore we mute the impacts and bring down the ducker. Now let's listen to the individual outputs of each source sampler. So the output signal of each source sampler corresponds to the four level indicators of the wave mixer. Here you see how the levels of the four source samplers are succeedingly cross-blended. The source mixer offers more parameters to shape the cross-mixing modulation to your needs. With a high mix shape version, the cross-blending happens more towards the center of the duration. With a low mix shape value, the cross-blending is evenly spread throughout the whole duration of the path. A lower range value will make the source sampler start and end at a higher volume. With range fully turned up, the source mixer will fade in and out to zero volume. A higher latitude makes the cross blending behave more lazy. There is more cross bleed between the individual channels. And with zero latitude, the cross blending happens sequentially one after another. With the rotate mode enabled, the start point of the wave mixer will rotate to the next right position after each Doppler pass. Besides the wave mixing mode, the source mixer also features a random mode. The volume of the four source mixers are modulated randomly. The random mode is not synchronized to the master duration. The audio of the four source samplers go into the source mixer. The output of the source mixer goes into the Doppler and post effects. The output of the impact sampler is combined with the output of the source mixer. But first the output of the source mixer goes into a DACA which has a sidechain input which can be fed by the output of the impact samplers. The Doppler engine simulates a range of natural Doppler effects when sound sources are passing by the listener. You can alter the speed of the object that passes by and display it in kmh meters per second or miles per hour. Further you can adjust the distance of the listener to the object and with a link button the distance control is linked to the speed control. The speed curve section allows you to create a transition of the speed parameter. When turning the symmetry to the right the object approaches slower and leaves faster. Setting the symmetry parameter to the left makes the object approach faster and it is leaving slower. The shape parameter affects the curve of the transition from sharp to round. With the pitch and amp controls it is possible to increase or decrease the amount of pitch and amplitude modulation of the Doppler effect. Further there are three different dampening modes. The panning knob controls the amount of left to right stereo panning. With a little arrow toggle the panning direction can be switched right to left. The mod delay offers control over mix, feedback and left and right channel delay time. These two encoders can also be operated in link mode. All the four parameters of the mod delay can be modulated by one of the two LFOs. The LFOs are also synchronized to the master duration. The LFO you want to use can be selected in the number fields under the encoders. Click and drag into the arrow spinner buttons to dial in the modulation. Tremolo offers control over speed and mix. Both controls can be modulated via the two LFOs in the same way as the mod delay. Let's listen to one of the chopper presets which make heavy use of the tremolo effect. Further there is a simple style equalizer, a drive and saturation effect and a compressor effect. After the signal went through all the post effects, the final stage is a brick wall limiter. Here the signal can be hard limited before going to the output. The limiter has three different settings. Slow, firm and crisp. Now let's have a look at the impact sampler section. 
The impact sampler section is divided into four individual impact samplers, each sharing the same functionality. Let's listen to one of the samplers by activating the solo modes. The players offer 17 different categories of impact samples containing over 200 impact samples in total. We sorted the 12 available samples per category into pairs of three. For the explosions it looks like this. Indoor A to C, Military A to C, with a Zap A to C and Gasoline A to C. So if you set the range selector so that it only goes from sample 1 to sample 3, so you can only switch between the three available indoor explosion effect variants. By clicking the random button you can enable a random sample selection within the selected range. So now we selected a range from sample 4 to sample 6. With this setting the impact sampler now offers a round robin playback behavior between the three available military explosion variants. The three big encoders at the top of the impact panel allow to adjust the position, pitch and amplitude for all four impact samplers at once. If you dial in the modulation for any of these three encoders, this parameter is modulated randomly, but it produces four individual random values for each sampler to produce interesting variations for each impact event. The playback position of the individual impact samplers can be repositioned with the mouse. But this only works when you have the impact sampler tab opened. To realign all playback positions to the center, simply click the align button. Here you see what happens when we dial in the modulation to the position parameter. So now let's unsolo the impact sampler and go in the mixer view again. And have a look at a few last controls. With this crossfader you can blend if you want to hear more of the source sampler signal or the impact sampler signal. As we explained earlier, the impact sampler signal can also be used to duck the source sampler signal. The amount of the ducking effect can be determined in the ducker section. Now let's have some fun and control whoosh in the manual mode. Switch to MIDI mode and enable the manual button. Now you can click and drag in the scope view with your mouse. In the setup mode you can MIDI learn whoosh's playback button, the individual source mixer positions the playback of the impact samples and the manual swiping parameter to your preferred controller device. Please note, Wush is built for the free version of the Reactor Player, which can be downloaded from the Native Instruments website. So you don't need the full version of Reactor anymore to play with Wush. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I wish you happy wishing.